What's going on you guys, Sam Burr here. Welcome back for a little review video of the new content creator pack, which has all of your different train stations, subway stations. It looks really cool. Looking at this one right here, oh my God, it looks so good. Look at how many people are coming in and out and it's just the depth, oh my God, it looks really good. So we're just gonna cover pretty much all of the different stations and um, let me know, did you guys buy it? What do you think? Are you planning to buy it? We also have the other content creator pack, which is about the bridges and and I think it's what peers or something like that. I'll probably do that in another video. I'm not going to cover it in this one. So let's go into it and have a look at everything. Now, firstly, we have a whole different bunch of different train stations. You can just subscribe to different ones on the Steam Workshop, but I mean, if you just want to actually get official proper ones, go ahead, like it's only $7.50. Um, this one is really good for your rural areas. It has the parking lots built in. It has four different lanes as well. So you can only do a station on the far left side and far right side, but it does have the two middle lanes. So if you want to have a train that bypasses through here, they can easily do so without having to wait for the other trains to go past. So that's a really useful thing to keep in mind. One thing I really like is if we look in here, it's got the glass exterior. You got the um, the walkways over here, the escalators as well, glass over here and lots of space if you want to uh, increase, you know, all of the garden and um, you, got, you got a nice little parking lot as well, which is all built in. So that one's really nice. We also have a couple of um, built up train stations. So these ones are good. If you need to bypass a lot of main roads, you just don't want to mess around with it. These ones are really good. There's a couple of those. Uh, again, it has the four lanes. So if you want to bypass this station, you can easily do so. You have these stations on the left and right side. You got your nice glass panel up here. It looks really just modern, like it looks nice. Um, again, parking lots built in. You also got the parking lot underneath here. So it's utilizing that extra space, keeping it all nice and compact. Looks really good. All right, another really great elevated one is this one right here. This one is a little bit bigger, it takes up a lot of space because of the big parking lot, but it is a nice elevated one. Um, it has a lot down the bottom of it, so I'm not sure if you, you could probably, probably hide some shops in there if you wanted to, but you also have the nice seating areas on top. However, the downside with this one is that it only has two stations. So if you're doing a bypass train, there's no space. So like this one here, see how it's waiting? Um, yeah, they gotta wait if they're just trying to go through until the stations are clear. But um, it is still a pretty nice modern looking one. Now, speaking of modern ones, this one I quite like, mainly because of like how the elevation is. It has all, all of your ramps. It has nice, um, steep green grass areas. And it's just, it's really just working those weird shapes. You know what I mean? Um, and then you come over here, you got um, a long walkway across, which is pretty cool. Then a long walkway down into the middle. Downside, it's only got two stations, but I mean, you can get away with it. That's all right. Um, it does have this weird, space through here i don't know why like why didn't they just fill that space in space in but i mean oh well again it has the parking space built in and what i also like is that it has different um entry points so entry point here here and over here so it just kind of spreads it out makes it look really cool Another lower, more rural style one would be this one right here. So you've got your four different lanes, which is quite nice. The parking lot, parking lot built in. Um, and then I also quite like this part right here, which I think is quite realistic. Like compared to what I've seen in real life, this looks pretty good. Like escalators going up and down and it's just kind of like all open, it's outdoors. Looks really cool, looks really similar to what I've seen before. Again, lots of space if you want to detail it a little bit more. 
So this is also another big train station, um, parking lots built in. I like that it's an odd shape, you know what I mean? You got the elevated ones going this way, then you got the two lower lines down here, or three lines down here. Um, lots of space, so you can really do a lot of different train connections through here. So you got station there, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different potential stations, you know, know what I mean? Um, the only thing I don't like is like, why isn't there a nice key along here to kind of make it look a bit neater? You can easily add it in, but like, where is it? I mean, come on. <laughs> so, yeah, it's okay. Uh, they could have made it look a bit nicer. It's a pretty average looking one, but I mean, it is what it is. We also have this one here, which is kind of like an old style market or something. Um, I, I suspect you would find this one like right in your downtown area, kind of like the older downtown a little bit, just based from like how the brick look looks, but you have a lot of different stations and it's elevated. So you can easily, it can easily like glide in and out of your city, bypassing all the roads and things like that. Um, you also have, which I quite like, you have a lot of like little markets down here, which is pretty cool. You have some parking lots hidden in here and then also some more um, little markets over here as well pretty nice looking one would look quite good surrounded by like a lot of high-rise buildings i think another really nice one here so this one has a lot of train stations in the back and also it has your subway elevated station so mixing it all together utilizing the space a little bit better um, one downside is that i kind of wish that we just had this glass bit here without all of this at the end it would be quite nice looking because like the glass does look, look quite good but this takes up a lot of space in the back area um, so if they had like a smaller version that would be really good but Again, it is what it is. We can get around it. Like I would suspect you'd find this right in your downtown area as well. With that many station, that many lines, you can probably really disperse it throughout your whole city. And you know, this this station would probably become very, very busy. And I think this is the last train station. So this is also a nice elevated one, kind of like a major one as well. Nice big parking lot area. Nice entrance down there. Um, and then lots of uh, space for them to all come through. Uh, maybe not like the most modern looking one, but it does look pretty good. And I like the um, the curved areas like that. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good, but it does take up quite a lot of space. We also have a whole bunch of elevated subway stations. So this is one that I haven't used in this city, um, but it, it is a quite nice compact looking one. Um, I like that it has these covered areas, but it's kind of open here as well. It, I think it would fit in really well, like right in your busy, dense downtown areas because the road can go underneath. That's how it snaps to the road like this. And um, you can really do quite a large road down there as well. Uh, has the elevators there, probably escalator over there. Looks pretty good. right here is also another elevated subway station um, again lots of space underneath to put your roads or whatever else you want to um, lots of space on top it has the bypass lanes in the middle and then your two stations on the outside it's got your covered areas it's got pretty much everything you need and it just looks really cool with like this glass exterior as well i like that it is elevated so you can easily glide across everything and it just looks really cool like that This one right here, I actually quite like because it's very open. Like you can really see everything that's going on. Not like the other ones where it's kind of covered. This one has the glass roofs um, and yeah, it's just really easy to see inside and it has a lot of different lanes. So if you want to do the bypass ones, which is quite important, you know, if you actually want to work with that, but um, lots of different lanes. The only thing, it kind of looks a bit funny here, how it all kind of connects, but I mean, what can you do? And again, it has all of these space underneath. So if you want to put a large road underneath, that's all right. And um, yeah, it looks really good. We've also got a couple of these sunken green roof style ones. So these ones are very compact and they're really not that noticeable either. Like you, you probably would 
easily miss it. Um, if you look over here, you can kind of see in there a little bit. It only has one station here and one station here, but that's all right. It's pretty much all that you need. Nice little compact one, and it's quite deep as well. I assume it wouldn't create too much noise. Let's actually check that out. Actually, noise is quite high, which is kind of surprising. I didn't think it would be quite noisy because it's quite down low and I mean it's going they're going to be going slow there anyway so it shouldn't they shouldn't create too much noise all right similar to that one is this one right here um, again the green green roof style sunken down quite compact but it just has the extra two lanes um, in the middle again looks really cool has everything that you need in there but I just quite like that it's sunken down and it's really not that noticeable um, even the roof isn't too high as well if you want something that's a little bit larger, this one right here, it has the four lanes. Um, just a, a little bit of a different shape. It's got the curves there, different walkways through here. Um, this one fits in quite nicely next to this train station. So keeping them together makes it really easy for them to connect from the train to subway, vice versa. And um, has this nice little like Sydney Opera House style curves as well, which is kind of cool. All right, and last but not least, the cherry on top, this one right here. Oh, I, I feel like this one alone makes it worth it. Um, this one is going to be like your major, major downtown subway crazy connector. You know, <laughs> like there's a lot going on here. There's It attracts so many people. Like there's a lot of shops you can see there. There's a lot of shops around here, which is probably why they're all coming here. I haven't yet utilized all of the stations in this one. So imagine once all of the stations have been utilized, but oh my God, look at all of those people. So you got what three different levels going down, escalators going all over the place. There's also elevators, you got your clocks, you got your green space. It just looks really, really cool. It, it just fits in really well with like a downtown area. And just to show you guys how it looks underneath, so you have a lot of different stations. So you got the three down the bottom, then this one here, and this one here. So that's a lot of different directions that you could go just from this one station. It's going to be a major connection point where they can uh, transfer to different subway stations. But I'd also work in train stations next to it, your monorails, your trams, just pretty much everything. I'd work it in right here and make it like a huge big pedestrian area like I've done around it, just so you're not messing with the cars. And wow, it just looks really, really good. So let's leave it at that. Like I said, it's only $7.50. It's on the Steam Workshop now. I will link it down below and let me know what you guys think. Uh, is it worth it? In my opinion, yeah. It's, yeah, it's not, it's only like seven, it's only $7.50. It's really not that much. Um, I just think it looks really cool, especially this last one right here. Um, anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video.